German Type 23 submarines were the first so-called electro-boats to become operational. They were small coastal submarines designed to operate in the shallow waters of the North Sea, Black Sea in Mediterranean Sea, where larger Type 21 electro-boats were at risk in World War II. They were so small they could carry only two torpedoes, which had to be loaded externally. As with the far larger sisters, the Type 21, they were able to remain submerged almost all of the time and were faster than conventional U-boats. Due to the improved streamlining of their shape, batteries with larger capacity and the snorkel, which allowed the diesel engines to be used while submerged. The Type 21 and 23 U-boats revolutionized post-war submarine design. Background When development began on the Type 21 U-boat in late 1942, it was proposed to simultaneously develop a smaller version incorporating the same advanced technology to replace the Type 2 coastal submarine. Admiral Carl Donitz added two requirements. As the boat would have to operate in the Mediterranean and the Black Sea, it had to be able to be transported by rail, and it had to use the standard 53.3-cm torpedo tubes. The development of the Type 23 was given a high priority, with an emphasis on using existing components as much as possible. To reduce development time, Helmuth Walter designed the new submarine based on the previous Type 22 prototype. By the 30th of June 1943 the design was ready and construction began in parallel at several shipyards in Germany, France, Italy and German-occupied Russia. The lead contractor was Deutsche Werft in Hamburg. As with the Type 21, the Type 23 was intended to be constructed in sections, various modules being produced by different subcontractors. Some were to be assembled at foreign yards, including U-2446 through U-2460 at the Deutsche Werft yard at Michaelai. These were reassigned to the Linsner yard on the 1st of May 1944 and subsequently cancelled. In the end, circumstances meant that construction was concentrated at Germania Werft in Kiel and Deutsche Werft in Hamburg. Germania Werft Building 51 and Deutsche are worth 49. Of the 280 submarines ordered, only 61 entered service, and only 6 ever carried out a war patrol. Description The Type 23 had an all-welded single hull, the first submarine to use such a design. It had a fully streamlined outer casing and apart from the relatively small conning tower and a fairing which housed the diesel exhaust silencer, it had an uncluttered upper deck. In line with Walter's design practice, there were no forward hydroplanes, although these were added later. The submarine was propelled by a single three-bladed propeller and steered by a single rudder. As with the Type 21, the lower section of the figure of eight hull was used to house a large 62-cell battery. In order to allow the boat to be transported by rail, the hull sections had to be limited in size to fit the standard loading gauge. For transportation, the hull was broken into four sections and the bridge was removed. Due to the space restrictions, the forward bow section had to be made as short as possible, which meant that only two torpedo tubes could be fitted and no reload torpedoes could be carried. The torpedoes were loaded by ballasting the submarine down at the stern so that the bow lifted clear of the water and the torpedoes could be loaded directly into the tubes from a barge. The Type 23 proved to have excellent handing characteristics, and was highly maneuverable both on the surface and underwater. Its crash dive time was 9 seconds, and its maximum diving depth was 180 meters. Speed submerged was 12.5 knots, while surface speed was 9 knots. A submerged speed of 10.5 knots could be attained while snorkeling. Construction The first Type 23, U2321, was launched from Deutsche Werft in Hamburg on 17 April 1944. 
It was one of six XXIIIs that went on operational patrol around the British Isles in early 1945. Forty-eight others followed from Deutsche Werft and thirteen from Germania Werft of Kiel. U4712 was the last one launched on the 19th of April 1945. Service history. None of the six operational Type 23s, U2321, U2322, U2324, U2326, U2329 and U2336 were sunk by the Allies' ships but they sank a damaged five ships for a total of 14,601 gross registered tons. The first war patrol of a Type 23 began late in the war when U-2324 sailed from Kiel on 18 January 1945. Although she was to survive the war, she sank no enemy vessels. The first Type 23 to achieve combat success was U-2322, commanded by Oberleutnant Zur C. Fritjof Heckel, sailing from a Norwegian base on 6 February 1945. She encountered a convoy off Berwick, Northumberland, and sank the coast Regum on 25 February. U-2321, operating from the same base, sank the coast to Gathray on 5 April 1945. 1945 off St. Abbs Head, U-2336, under the command of Captain Lieutenant Emil Klusmeyer, later sank the last Allied ships lost in the European War on 7 May 1945, when he torpedoed and sank the freighter Snelland and Avondale Park off the Isle of May and side the Firth of Forth. The Snelland and the Avondale Park were sunk around 2303, less than an hour before the official German surrender, and the Avondale Park was the last merchant ship to be sunk by a U-boat. At the time it was felt that Captain Lieutenant Klusmeyer, who was on his first patrol, had deliberately ignored Donitz's ceasefire order. However Klusmeyer claimed that he had never received the order. Losses. Eight Type 23s were lost to various causes. U-2323 was sunk by a naval mine on 26 July 1944. U-2331 was lost in a training accident on 10 October 1944. U-233H was sunk by British Bowfighter aircraft which killed 12 crewmen and sank the boat east-northeast of Frederick here on 4 May 1945, before she ever went on combat. Patrol. U-2342 was mined and sunk on 26 December 1944. U-2344 was accidentally rammed and sunk by U-2336 on 18 February 1945. U-2351 was paid off in April 1945 after bomb damage. U-2359 was sunk by Allied aircraft on 2 May 1945. U-2367 was accidentally rammed and sunk by an unidentified U-boat on 5 May 1945. In early May 1945, 31 XXIIIs were scuttled by the Crows. 20 surrendered to the Allies and were sunk in Operation Deadlight. Only 3, U-2326, U-2353, and U-4706 survived the war. Post-war, one Type 23 was allocated to the Soviet Union under the terms of the Potsdam Agreement, and a second unit was reportedly salvaged in 1948. In 1956, the Bundesmarine raised two Type 23 boats, U-2365 and U-2367 following a collision with another U-boat, and recommissioned them as u high and u hacked with pennant numbers S-170 and S-171 respectively. 
Yu Hai sank in a gale off the Dogger Bank in September 1966, taking 19 of her 20 crewmen with her. Her loss is the greatest maritime post-war disaster that the German Navy has suffered. The experience gained from the two recommissioned submarines led to the construction of the Type 206 submarine, which was in use until 2011. Boats in class. Bibliography. Groner, Eric. Young, Data, Mars, Martin. U-boats and mine warfare vessels. German warships 1815-1945. 2. Translated by Thomas Keith McGowan, Rachel, London, Conway Maritime Press. ISBN 0851775934. Williamson, Gordon, Wolfpack, The Story of the U-Boat in World War II, Osprey, ISBN 1841768723, Williamson, Gordon, Palmer, Ian, Kriegsmarine U-Boats 1939-45, Volume 2, Osprey Publishing, ISBN 1841763640 Palmer, Norman, Jari and Newt. Submarines of the Russian and Soviet Navies, 1718-1990. Naval Institute Press. ISBN 0870215701.